everyone, this is Rick Morgan. I had a question for myself and from others lately as well about how much is enough light in peroxide and how much is too much, which light is the best, what concentration of peroxide is the best, how much time is the best. So I did some experiments and I think the biggest variable is going to be the book itself. So with an N equals one, I took a leaf of this kid cult outlaw and First, I did an experiment where I just put light for a long time. I did 24 hours on the whole book in little segments. So what I did was I laid uh, these, these grids that I cut across here. And then I took these little pieces of the of little hexagons from this. I have a bone here. And I would fill in every hour. I would fill in a hole like this. And I would continue the experiment like that. I'll, I'll save the trouble. It didn't look any different. Like actually, I thought it didn't look any different, but upon closer expect, inspection, and I'll do it in a different video, it actually did was lighter over the 24 hour period, but subtle, it's very subtle. So otherwise what I did was I took two side, two pieces of light in one box, this is, or two uh, arrays of light. This is 435 nanometer and 460 nanometer. It wasn't really a big difference. I then took this array, this grid right here, and I'll show you a little video in a minute. And I overlaid these hexagons on there. And every hour, I would spray about five milliliters of peroxide from a misting bottle, about the same height, over the whole thing. And then I would uh, wait an hour and then cover the next one, the next one, the next one, and go like this. And then I drew the hexagons out. You can kind of see them here a little bit. And I'll show you better images about what that looks like. Here's the back. And here, I'll show you now, is an image of what the 435 page looked like with the with and without the array in place. You can see what that looks like. And also the 460 nanometer with and without the array. And you can see it's not much difference in them. You can see that definitely the colors were bleached towards the end. I, look, I chose this pages because they had a lot of colors in them and some white areas as well. Next, I need to do some with a lot more white. Well, it's more obvious what's going on with the tanning removal. But you can see towards the very end at 25 hours, there's a big difference. Here's an image of the experimental setup. I have this array of 25 hexagons cut out. I would spray peroxide. This is 6% peroxide. On the left, we have 460 nanometer, 435 nanometer lights. On the right, it's 460 nanometer lights. And every hour, I would cover up one more of the hexagons and then spray it again. So I got another dose of peroxide every time and I would turn the lights back on and that's what it looks like. You can see it in action here. I took another video about about three hours in. I would, you can see that I have some of them covered up and this is what it looked like sort of mid process through the experiment. Kind of interesting. A couple of unplanned observations. This light and dark area is where it was bleached and where it was covered in the section, in the center section. So you can see that difference there. And on the back of the leaf, the hexagons, you can see how much wider it is on the reverse part of the page. I wasn't even actually trying to measure. You can see what a difference there is, even through the paper itself. It's quite stark. This image is from the 435 nanometer section between one and two hour hexagons. You can see that the one hour is just a little bit lighter, maybe not at all. The two hour, you can see that it's different than that surrounding border area. There is a little difference at two hours. I struggle to see a difference at one hour right here. Here's a microscope image of the blue dotted area in the one hour section, just for fun. Here's a close up of the paper in the five hour mark. You can see what it looks like here. In this one image, you can see this little bit of the six, the seven, 10 and 11 hour hexagons. The six, the white area inside, just outside the marker there because the paper curled a little bit is wider than that six area below it. The seven inside the hexagon is much whiter than that below it, but the blacks are about the same, blues are about the same. On the 10, you can see that the yellow does look bleached out, I would suggest. It looks lighter colored. And the orange may or may not look lighter in 11. It's pretty close to that, I think. Here's the YO from the Yule in 11. You can see that it's pretty white colored here, this fibers and the black ink. It's in place. It doesn't seem to be too bleached out. It looks pretty good, honestly. 
at 20 and 21 hours and 435 doesn't look bad at all honestly it doesn't look terrible inside or outside the hexagons i'd say it looks basically the same and not much harm done even after 21 hours with peroxide every hour in the light box it looks about the same at 24 and 25 hours because it's now primarily oranges and not blues and blacks you can see a difference the 24 is pretty obviously bleached out in both the yellow and the orange versus the surrounding colors and his hand is extremely bleached out in 25 although blue looks pretty good you know so the orange is is definitely a lighter color here on this one this is some of the whites and some of the blue and a little bit of black at the 13 hour mark it looks pretty good i'd say and this is at the 21 hour mark at 435 looks pretty good i don't doesn't look that bleached out i'm not sure really what this tells us but it is interesting to observe monitor for other books too besides this one and here's the whole page again in landscape so you can see more of it i would say that between one and two hours you can really see a difference and at three a difference again i'd say one two three hours. but after that it doesn't look like the whites are getting much or any whiter i mean they're pretty boldly white at nine and ten hours for sure in the middle there but after that, you start to notice, especially if you look at 12, the orange inside of 12 is definitely lighter than the orange outside of 12. And if the, the crack in, I'd say 11, is also lightened. So I would say you're pretty safe, you know, between like two to three to 10 in this particular book anyway. And then again, this is only for this book. This isn't all books. And notice on 24 to 24 is one that's bleached out quite a bit in the middle there but i'd say you know between one and three hours you've got a lot of buffer zone between the time this particular book starts to go bad for the 460 light looks like at about 14 hours I, I might be imagining a lighter orange in the middle again the paper wrinkled so it wasn't a clear hexagon shape in the light but it looks like it might be a little lighter i might be imagining it too the 460 nanometer 1920 21 or 22 23 24 you can definitely see his face is bleached at 19 pretty severely. 20, oh yeah, gosh, the guy's cheek is basically gone at 20 here. And then at 22, I can't tell if there's a little bit of his jaw there, but you can see it if you look around the edges. In some places, you can see some of this sort of photo bleaching effect, and I'll also show some microscope photos here. Again, the 22-hour mark with 460 nanometers, and you can see with the microscope the difference in the color in this sort of orangey red color you can see there's a bit there's a big difference it's definitely photo bleached out in this particular case yeah big big difference in this particular one then here is the 25 hour mark and you can see there's damage not that anybody would ever do this but you can see it's bleached out pretty nicely on the white paper but some of the color is definitely gone there and now that I'm looking more closely with the 460 nanometer lights, I can see the faces in at six and seven hours are lighter colored on the inside of the hexagons than the outside. The blacks seem okay and the blues seem okay, but the faces are, I would say, definitely a lighter color. And here's an area from that center line of the book again where it was not photo bleached on the right and photo bleached on the left. You can see a difference in color. I don't know, it's kind of, it's kind of subtle, but I can see it. I've been staring at it for so long. I just thought you might enjoy seeing that. It's kind of fun.